Hi everyone, we're going to find the volume of a sphere. Uh, the problem is the radius of a sphere is increasing at a rate of 2 inches per minute. That means that the derivative of r with respect to t equals 2. And basically we have to find the rate of change twice. So when r is 6, this should be r. And when r is uh, 24 inches. And then we also have to explain why the rate of change of the volume of the sphere is not constant, even though the derivative of r is constant. So basically, let's write down the volume formula for a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then we're going to take the derivative of the volume with respect to t equals 3 times 4 thirds pi r squared and then that's going to be because it's 3 minus 1 and that's with uh, respect to uh, derivative of r with respect to time okay and you simplify this and you're going to get 4 pi r squared derivative of r with respect to time now we got to figure out when um, r is 6, so basically we have, let's rewrite it, derivative of r with respect to time is given, and our, when our r is 6, what happens? So we're just plugging in everything, so you get 4 pi times 6 squared, and this is 2, and that's going to give you 288 pi inches cubed, because we're doing a volume, per minute. And then the second problem when it was r was 24. So that would be 4 pi times 24 squared times 2. And that gives you 4,608 pi inches cubed per minute. And then if, for the B part, if derivative of R with respect to time is constant, that would mean, if then, that derivative of volume with respect to time is proportional to r squared. It's not constant, it's proportional to r squared. Right here. Okay? Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.